Hello, welcome. Today we're going to spend just a couple of minutes looking at the needles that are used in dental local analgesia. And this is uh, uh, one of a typical way a dental injecting needle comes. It comes in a pre-sealed plastic container. And these plastic containers at their edge actually have this piece of uh, sticky label around them which has interestingly has the batch number printed on them but more importantly it seals the top from the bottom of the packaging for this needle so the first thing you do when you get a dental needle is just run your eye or your fingers around that seal and make sure it has remained sealed and is not damaged and that will guarantee you that the needle within is uh, sterile as well as the manufacturers can sterilize it and uh, uh, comes uh, perfectly stable to you. Now dental needles actually come in two sizes. They come in shorts that we're just looking at and here is the longer one. And the way that with most brands you can separate them is actually the color Let's just get this in the light properly. Yes, you can see there. Do you notice that the long one, the writing in this case, is brown on the sticky label, whereas the short one, the short one, the label is blue. So when you're looking at them, you can actually pick them separately in the in the drawer or wherever you store them by the colour of the label. Now, just to be clear, the two sizes are about the length of the needle. That means that we have a long one and a short one. And the short one is used for all infiltrations, whereas the long one is used for blocks. So let's open up one of these and have a look at what is inside. We'll put the long one aside for now and just look at the short one. To open a needle, all you need to do is grab the two ends firmly and give them a twist. And I've just twisted it. You notice now that the two ends are moving separately. You can see across the label there. See how the label's moving against the batch number there? And that means that this is now open and ready. When I, what I do is I hold on to the long end and pull the short end. And when you pull the short end, now clearly I'm doing this without gloves on just so you can actually see what's going on. In reality you'd be wearing your gloves and, and doing this uh, um, in a clinical manner, but we're doing it in a non-clinical setting for just demonstration purposes. You can now see the short top part of the needle. And in fact what you have here is the needle remaining in the packet here is the part that you're actually going to use will actually go into the patient, whereas this short part of the needle up at the top here is the part that's actually going to go into the carpule and uh, be locked in to the solution it's going to come from. So that's how you open a needle and prepare it for the syringe. And let me just show you now, let's grab the syringe and show you how this then works. So here is the syringe, and we'll just get it back together in its right form. This end, this plastic end of the needle, is going to uh, be pushed into that metal end, the opening there of the, of the syringe. So what you do, without touching either with your hands, is you slide the needle into that area there. And then that little piece of blue plastic in this case, in the case of a long, it'll be brown plastic, you then rotate to tighten it on the syringe. And it will lock in to, uh, to um, the thread that's on that metal part of the syringe. So there we have the uh, needle and how it's attached into the syringe. I'll just undo that again so you can have a look. There's that little end of the needle that's going to go up through the opening in that syringe there. Now obviously this is going to happen when the carpule is in this syringe. 
So if we remind ourselves about a carpel, here's the carpel here. As you, uh, whoops, Daisy, here's the carpel here. As you s tighten this in, this ne this end of the needle is going to impale itself in a little rubber piece in the middle of this end of the carpel and the needle will actually go through the rubber part and into the solution. So then when you put pressure on the bung up at this end here, you will be squeezing solution down the middle of this needle that will then come through the long part of the needle and into the patient. So that's how it works. So let's just for three minutes just pop uh, the carpel in here so we can see how this works. Remember the process. Remember we're doing it in a non-clinical setting here just as demonstration. There we go. So we now have the carpel in place. Oops, I was a little bit fast there, wasn't I? I didn't show you. Remember that the gold end with a little the gold end with a little rubber opening in the middle goes towards the bottom of the syringe like that. We rotate it, we lock the carpel in place. And now you can imagine that as this is tightened onto the syringe right there, it will go through that rubber on the end of the carpel. So this is what dental needles look like. This is a short and uh, here is the long and you can see they are slightly different lengths. The short is for infiltrations, the long is for uh, inferior alveolar nerve blocks and you can see they come as a sealed packet with the needle inside it and here is the short part that goes into the carpule and if we do this very carefully if we just pull this out let me see here here we go there we go and now you can see the longer part that ends up going into the patient so that's what a dental needle looks like there's its packet with it the short and the long component of the packet